Hey guys, welcome back to the day 11 of the advent of Cyber 4. My name is Bohan. In today's challenge, we're going to learn how we can use volatility to perform an image forensics. And let's just go ahead to uh, dive into the challenge. I'm just going to give you guys a quick uh, intro for the volatility. So volatility is a tool that you can use to perform memory forensics. And uh, if you never heard about it uh, or used it before, uh, it basically you can use it to uh, list all the processes um, while you capture the while, while you capture the image, and you can also use it to uh, analyze the network connections. Uh, you can write your own Yara rules to searching for the indicators, indicators of malware, and you can even use it to retrieve the hashed passwords, uh, clipboard contents, or even the contents of the command prompt. So it is a very powerful tool. You can use uh, it for many different purposes. For this specific challenge today, we're going to use Volatility 3. Uh, which is an improved version of the Volatility 2. In the previous version, we have the Volatility 2. So compared to the Volatility, volatility 2, uh, Volatility 3 has a significant improvement uh, in terms of its performance and the speed when it comes to analyze the image file. So let's just jump right into the challenge itself. And I have already have um my um try hack me window opened here and uh, i'm in the volatility 3 folder here and uh, um if i just list my folder here we see we have the uh we have the volatility python file in the folder um when you want to run the volatility, you can just simply run the Python 3. Uh, you want to use dash f to, um, to specify the file paths you're going to analyze. So we have the workstation here. Um, so workstation, we have this VMEM. So VMEM extension means that the uh, file the image was being captured from a virtual machine. So we are going to just uh, copy this to the dash F flag. Uh, after the dash F flag, and we're going to use a, a plugin called the Windows, um, Windows Info. Uh, Sorry guys, so I believe I have some some mist here. Um, yeah, so I forgot to actually specify the the vol.py. So you have to specify this volatility a uh, volatility Python file. So um, okay, sorry guys. So. So once you uh, entered the correct command, it will start to scan the memory layer for this uh, image file just specified. So we have the uh, result returned here, and we see um, if you're not familiar with the windows.info uh, plugin, you can actually refer to the volatility documentation so at the documentation, we can see that the uh, Windows Info plugin is actually uh, help us to understand the operating system this image was captured from and the kernel details of this memory sample. So it is very useful when you're just starting to analyze the memory image. So in this case, we see that um, major operating system version for this uh, image file is 10, uh, which means we, it is a Windows 10 image when it was being captured. And when we're going to, uh, when we're going to the uh, questions that TryHackMe has for us, we see that the first question is asking, 
What is the Windows version number that the memory image captured? We think it's 10. So because we got that uh, Windows 10 in our uh, memory scanning, so it is when uh, it is 10 here. And what is the name of the binary gift that Secret Santa left? For this specific uh, question, we're going to use the PS scan. So just to change my plugin here to PS scan. Uh, so if you do not uh, know what the PS scan does, it basically. Uh, so I'm just going to refer to the documentation here. So if you want to check it out. So scans for the processes present in a particular Windows memory image. Uh, essentially just listing out all the processes uh, while well, the image was being captured. Just give it a second here. So you see that we have all these processes uh, running on the system while the image was being captured. Uh, what we are going to do is we're just going to go through all these processes on the system and see uh, what the center has left for us. So we have the uh, at the beginning of this um, processes, we see that there is a misery gift.exe um, with the process ID 2040 and the parent process ID 5888. And it was being created at November 23rd. Uh, and uh, yeah, so this is our a flag actually so we are going to just uh, copy this and uh, just to put it inside the second question answer box and uh, uh, submit it and that's our second questions answer and uh, for the third question what is the process id or pid of this binary as i mentioned earlier before uh, it is 2040 so in the window system for each process, it will always have a, has a, a corresponding process ID for each process. Uh, so in this case, we have the 2040 uh, as its process ID. So let's just type that in. And the last question is dump the contents of the binary. How many files are being dumped? For this specific question, we're going to use another. Um, plug in called dump files and we're going to specify uh, the process we're going to dump so we're going to specify a double dash PID and we're going to uh, just dump out the process we specified earlier so the process is 2040 Essentially, what the dump file dump files does is is that it will dump all the files associated with that specific process. So, if I'm going to refer to the documentation, it says dump dumps cached file contents from Windows memory sample. So, uh, this is all of our. Uh, file being dumped in this case where we, we can just go into we can just uh, uh, count count all these files so let me just count it very quick here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so it looks like we have 16 files being dumped and that's the challenge itself. Um, if you want to explore this on your own, uh, I highly recommend you to explore more plugins on your on your own because all the plugins are very useful when it comes to the analyze the image you captured and uh, especially when you uh, when you analyze the host that is being infected with the malware. Um, some of these plugins are going to really help you to identify 
uh, the malware infection, such as a mail found, uh, which will list the process range that potential contain injected code. So when the malware was trying to, a lot of times the malware will try to inject a code into the memory, so it will uh, change change the permissions for that specific memory region. A lot of times it will be um, so the read, write, write and uh, write and uh, execute. So that's the uh, a lot of times the uh, malware will try to change the permission with the read, write and execute. And if you look at a uh, net state or net scan, which will um, which will scanning the uh, memory for that specific network connection that host uh, has while the image was being captured. So it will be really helpful when you're looking at some uh, C2 connections on the host. So if I run the, if I just run the net scan on the host, we can see Just to give a give a minute to for it to scan the memory, so we can see we have this um, local address and the foreign address, and you you will even see the local port and the remote um, port associated with the specific PID. So just give it a minute. So in this case. So you see that we have all these processes listed here and uh, uh, some of these processes will make a network connection such as this uh, search UI.exe. It is making a remote uh, connection to that uh, 13.107.18.254 IP address over, 44, over port 443. And we can see there's some other um, Processes was trying to make a network connection, and uh, for that specific um, plugging I mentioned earlier for the mail found, you can use it to scan the memory region for this uh, specific image we captured. So just to give a minute to finish the scan. By the way, to mention that um, for that my uh, the mystery gift it, it is actually connect to the local host on the port 80 uh, so it's trying to doing the network connection to the host itself so just give it a minute I want to show you guys the result for this uh, specific plugin so what I mentioned here is that sometimes you will see uh, th this mail found will try to identify all the uh, suspicious memory region and it will, it will have this commit change uh, and this is the read write execute so this is the uh, permissions for that specific memory region uh, because malware will sometimes will try to inject itself into the memory so it will change the permissions for that specific memory. Um, and that is uh, today's challenge. And I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, challenge for day 11. And again, thank you guys for watching this video. And thanks for trying me for having me this year. And I hope you guys uh, liked this video and uh, see you guys in my next video.